Good morning children. This is English video session for class 10. We are now doing the book Supplementary Reader Footprints Without Feet and the name of the topic is The Making of a Scientist. The Making of a Scientist. I repeat again we are in book class 10 English Supplementary Reader Footprints Without Feet and the topic is 6th chapter number 6 The Making of a Scientist. We have already given the introduction of how Edward the great scientist got into the field of scientist and he was the first one to bring the to submit the papers regarding the research. So we will continue how his mother was helpful in all his activities during the school time itself and his father who died when he was only in third grade. Okay, we will start from the first paragraph. I was his only companion until he started school. His mother said, after that, his mother said, after that I would bring home friends for him. But at night, we just did things together. Richie was my whole life. Okay. So, whole life after his father died. So, he was the only one whom she was concentrating. Okay. So, this is what he says. She says. Please wait. Yes, we got it back. And Richie was my, uh, Richie and they, the mother and the son, they spent whole night doing some experiments on, uh, based on science. Okay. She and her spent almost every evening after the dining room table, at the dining room table. If he hadn't had things to do, I found work for him. If there is, look at the enthusiasm shown by the mother. If he found no work, then I will find him work. Not physical work, but learning things. There is nothing to do with physical work. It is all connected with brain. His mother said, he liked it. He wanted to learn. So what, what sort of uh, things she said? I did not force physical things on him. Physical work. Okay. I was concentrating more on his ability to think more and learn more. And learn he did. What did he learn he did? He also learned. He earned top grades in the school. On everyday things, he was just like every other thing. Other things, he was a very normal thing. Like he was going on doing his, he had his own fun, all these things. But when it connected with the grades of the examination and all, he was able to do well. Because he was given a lot of training connected with the think, uh, to learn, thinking process to make him work a lot on, his, uh, on learning by himself. All these things were taught by his mother every day so there was always one uh, that area was always his a priority by the time he was in the second grade ebride had collected 25 species species of butterflies found around his hometown so look at the type of uh, um, uh, in a, in the in second grade hardly he is in second grade but look at the number of types of butterflies even we can't even find the difference between a butterfly and the but at that second grade, the boy was able to identify and collect 25 species. Okay. And see the book here. Gozamar winged butterfly. White M hair streak. Acadian, uh, uh, Acadian hair streak. Bronze copper. Bog copper. Purplish copper. Eastern tailed blue. Melisa blue. Slivery blue. 
snout butterfly, wood nymphs and satyrs, eyebrow, wood nymph grayling, monarchs, there are also monarchs here, monarchs or milkweed, white sun sulphurs, olympia, cloudless sulphur, European cabbage, okay, brush footed butterflies, variegated fritillary, Harris checker spot, okay, pearl crescent, pearls crescent, morning cloak, okay, painted lady, <laughs> black buck eye, wise roy, white admiral, red spotted purple, haku hackberry. So these were the names. Uh, uh, he was doing it. So species and subspecies of butterflies collected in six weeks in reading. So Pennsylvania. So, so all these things in the hometown of Pennsylvania he collected. This is the place where he lived. That probably would have been the end of my butterfly collecting he said. But then my mother got me a children book called The Travels of Monarch X. So at that time what has the mother given him the book? Mo Travels of Monarch X. That book which told me how monarch butterflies migrate to Central America. So there is also the uh, like all the birds and uh, the species of butterflies also has migrated. And they have migrated to Central America. Opened the world of science to eager for the young collector. collector. So this is the fellow who is collecting butterflies and here is an information which he got about the monarch butterfly which has now migrated to no, Central America. So look at the, uh, the thirst for learning in the boy, young boy and how the mother contributed to the inspiration and activating his uh, uh, spirit of inquiry. Let's see. At the end of the book, readers were invited to help, okay, to help study butterfly migrations okay so what happened list and I uh, uh, they were asked to tag butterflies for research by Dr. Frederick A. Urquhart of the University of Toronto Canada a bright mother wrote to Dr. Urquhart as soon as Ebright was attaching light adhesive tags to the wings of the monarchs, anyone who found a tagged butterfly was asked to send the tag to Dr. Orka Hart. Okay, when you find a tagged butterfly, you have to send it to Orka Hart. Okay, so what happened? The butterfly collections, collecting season around the readings, last six weeks in the late summer. See, gossamer winged. Look at the number of kinds of butterflies collected in six weeks. Gossamer winged, okay, wood nymphs and satires, brush footed, white and sulphur, monarchs, snouts. So, numbers collected, you have get you have got the data also, okay. Now, let's see how he has completed. The butterfly collecting, yes, the butterfly collecting season around reading last six weeks in late summer. If you are going to chase them one by one, you won't catch very many. So the next step for E. Bright was to raise a flock of butterflies. This is beautiful. He would catch a female monarch, take her eggs and raise them in the basement through her their life cycle. From egg to caterpillar to pupa to butterfly, adult butterfly. Then he would tag the butterfly's wings and let them go. Okay. Tag them and go. For several uh, years his basement was home for thousands of monarchs in different stages of development so what happened in this basement he was doing all this research okay and how he did it he used to put a tag on it and so everybody will know that it is only for that and lot of uh, the stages you all know the stages of the butterfly from egg to caterpillar to pupa and the butterfly a number of uh, several Yes, the basement was for the house was full of monarchs in different stages of development. You can have n number of butterflies found there. Eventually, I began to lose interest in tagging butterflies. It's tedious and there is not much feedback. So, I couldn't get feedback where it is crying. People were not able to give in, uh, information. Nobody cared like how he cared. 
Okay, so in all the time I did, he laughed. Only two butterflies I had tagged were recaptured and they were not more than 25 miles from where I lived. So they were found only 25 miles ke baad. Oh, fair, they didn't see at all. Okay, yes. So how was his effort done? He is telling. Okay, children. By this I stop. What lessons does Ebright learn when he did not, when does not win anything at the science fair? What experiments and projects does he undertake? What are the qualities that go into the making of scientists? You, you just write the answers of these three questions and come to the next class. Okay, children. Thank you.